Hi, welcome back to the shop. Thanks for stopping by. Last week I received this little shipment of bottle stoppers and a mandrel from Carl and Robin Jacobson from Niles Bottle Stoppers. Thanks guys for sending those. Uh, never made a bottle stopper before. They look like a ton of fun and a great way to use up some scrap wood or scrap hybrid or any little pieces you got kicking around. Uh, very popular. I have lots of friends who turn them and sell piles of them, so they are a good selling product. Uh, here's their website and their phone number if you're interested in getting in contact with them to order some for yourself. All right, so I'm going to start off with this piece of offcut from uh, Maple Burl uh, that I used to make a hybrid out of once upon a time. And I'm going to take a blank right out of this corner. I probably can get a couple out of it, actually, and possibly another one here if I chose. But for now, we're going to cut one out of here. So you see that these little pieces like this are, are great for these projects. So I'm just going to square this out in the bandsaw or rough it in close, and I'll get on the lathe and round it up. We'll see you there. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this into round now. I'm gonna put a tenon on the tailstock into this, and uh, you don't need to do this in a four jaw chuck I'm going to today. I'll explain a little later how you can do it without using a four jaw chuck. Now I'm just going to turn the profile of the dovetails of my four jaw on the end of this tenon. I turned this just a little bit too small, so I'm going to turn a little bit larger tenon on it. And I'm going to sand a little bit of this off because it was a little too long to fit in my jaws, but I'm leaving most of it for the top of the stopper. Okay, the next thing we're going to do we're going to flatten the center of this with a Forstner bit and all you need to have is a Forstner bit that's bigger than the base of the stopper. This will sit up against the bottom of your turn piece. This and this are the same size and so that's how big you know how to turn it. And we're just going to cut a flat in this. Now you can buy inserts to go in these. If you use inserts, you need a 7 16 hole. And if you don't, you need a 5 16 hole. And both of those bits come in the starter kit. So your blank thread's on this mandrel, and so the hole needs to be just slightly deeper than the length of this threaded part. Okay, so now I'm going to drill this in to the tape. This has a notch out of it, which is made to help cut these threads. So now we're just going to thread this on. I'm going to back it out and let it clean itself off a couple times during this process. You can buy the mandrel that goes in your Morse taper, or they make them with a thread for a bunch of different threads, and you have one that threads right over the outside, in which case you don't need the, the drawbar. Now this is stabilized barrel, so it's threading much harder than regular unstabilized wood would thread. Uh, but if you were going to make these to sell and you wanted to make them quickly, uh, you would want to use a 7 16 bit and drill them and glue in the insert, which would be much faster for sure.
Alright, I'm gonna sand this up now. Okay, I'm gonna bring you back when I'm all finished here. Okay, now that we're all sanded up to 240, I'm gonna use some Yorkshire grit on it. Now we're gonna go with some microfine. Now, if you don't have a mandrel for your lathe, you can cut the ends of your blank square, put them on a drill press, flatten it off, drill the hole on a drill press, and then thread it with your mandrel. So you really don't need a four jaw chuck, you really don't need a drill mandrel to do these. I just used it because I have it here. And I know in most of these Project That Sells videos, I don't use those items, but I thought I would today. And you can knock these things out really quickly. You get your blanks made up ahead of time, get them squared on the end and drilled, so that all you have, or even pre-thread pre them even if you like to, so that all you have to do is just put them on and crank them out and you can turn a file of these in a short time. It's a very small turning. And we're gonna put on some hot wax as a finish. I really like hot wax with these types of projects because it's it's really durable. It puts a nice nice coat on there. It doesn't fingerprint and it's very strong, very durable. So now we are going to unthread this. All we need to do is thread it on to the stopper. These are all stainless steel and they're very nice, very nice quality. All right, I gotta get something better to get a hold of that <clears throat> with my, my hands because they're slippery from the wax. There you go. The first of what will probably be many. Nice little maple barrels to stabilize. You don't need to do that, obviously. Doesn't need to be barrel wood. It just can be anything you want. You can laminate them, do whatever you like. There's a ton of videos out on different uh, different styles and shapes and materials. And um, again, I'll leave. Uh, thanks again to Robin and, and uh, Carl for sending me the sending me the stoppers. And uh, again, I'll put the link to them in the video description. So if you're looking into get if you're looking into getting into some of these, give them a shout. They say they're great people to deal with. And uh, Carl has videos, and I'll put a link to that as well in the description so you can see how he makes them. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.